When playing Fortnite, one of the things that the game is often praised for is the fact that number one, it's free, and number two, microtransactions have no actual competitive benefit to the game itself. But what if I told you that there were some cosmetics in Fortnite that do offer, while in most cases not a significant enough advantage for it to be a big deal, some in-game advantage? Oh my god, the game is broken! Ah. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Today we've got some some actual pay to win emotes. So get your sodi pops, popcorn. Welcome back to Top 5 Gaming, everyone, where today we're breaking down the top five OP Fortnite emotes that give you an advantage. But not like a big one. Actually, it's incredibly small, but an advantage is an advantage nonetheless. Epic. So, uh, we're not happy with you. We don't condone this kind of thing, all right? You said that microtransactions have no in-game benefit, and that is, that's not true. We're, we're rolling with it. Smash like. Subscribe if you want us to do a uh, chicken nugget giveaway. <laughs> Let's get into it. Number five, the Shaolin Sit-Up. This emote only appeared recently in the item shop, but is definitely one of the best common emotes you can find amongst the green variety, especially for dodging those bullets. I know we could just build walls, but where's the fun in that when you can pull some straight up Neo Matrix moves? The Shaolin Sit-Up makes your character almost instantly fall backwards onto their back before jumping up onto one leg and into a Shaolin style stance. There's no real music for it, which is the case with nearly all common emotes, but there's the noise of a gong being being hit in the beginning. Out of all the different varieties of dance and emotes, epics, rares, and uncommons, the Shaolin sit-up is one of the fastest emotes in the game for moving the character out of harm's way. There's some emotes and dances that may protect you better on the long run, but for dodging that first bullet or two, this will most likely be the favorite. That first drop onto your back completely reduces your hitbox down to around knee level in almost an instant, and for a lot of pro players that seem to react purely on instinct, I doubt it's going to do much on them. They seem to be able to whip and hit shots faster than should be humanly possible, but for the rest of us out there that actually have to line up our shots on occasion, you can use that moment when they're aiming to predict when they're going to take the shots, and then you can pull out the Shaolin sit-up just in time to dodge it. While your enemy's bullet is grazing over you, you're already lining up your counter. Number four, break in. Considering there's a ridiculous variety of dances, there's not too many that are particularly good for dodging bullets. The reality is, music has a repetitive beat, which the dance goes with and in turn creates a moving yet predictable target. It's only the real fast-paced and intricate dances that manage to make it difficult to predict. A lot of dances, though, are really tame and slow-paced as well, which doesn't move your hitbox much, and on the other hand, Breakin' is definitely going to be one of the top dances for dodging bullets. Your character break dances at such a fast and wide pace that predicting where to shoot is a lot more difficult, especially if you're trying to go for headshots, time it right, and you can find yourself dancing through the action unscathed. Bullets missing by centimeters if you didn't manage to get it. Don't panic, it first appeared not too long ago in October, and since it's already been back in the item shop over 16 times, chances are you should see it again. Although, it is an epic and will cost you 800 V-Bucks. When you're on the island, sometimes it's not always an opponent right in front of you that you're trying to dodge, and when you're riding as a passenger on every vehicle, you're pretty much a sitting duck. The only real chance of avoiding Avoiding gunfire depends on how well the pilot or driver can handle the vehicle. On planes and golf buggies, you can find a lot of people performing emotes and dances to make it less likely for someone to hit you, and this break in emote has always been a popular one for it. Number three is flippin' sexy. Okay, so you know how I just mentioned you should have time to get the break and dance as it's appeared a ton of times in the item shop, right? Well, if you really do want it, then I'd keep an eye out for it as soon as possible. It may not actually show up again, but when researching the flippin' sexy emote, we found out it also appeared a ton of times in the shop shortly after its appearance on March 5th, 16 times in total, before it stopped showing up after September 28th. The break in and flippin' sexy emote appeared a similar amount 16 and 17 times for around the same time 
time gap, eight to nine months, and neither have been seen since. So I think we may have just found a pattern for some of their items here, people. But moving on from the item shop analysis, the Flippin' Sexy was a community favorite when it did show up in March. The first emote that does a flip even poses you in a laid out position on the floor for a short time, like something out of Titanic. The best part about this one is that it has no audio, just your natural footsteps. So if you're trying to hide from an enemy or sneak up on an opponent, this flippin' sexy emote can really come in useful. The best part about emotes and dances is that you can line up your shot without stopping. So you can easily hide behind or in something, performing the flip into laying down, and then line up the shot without revealing yourself until the moment you want to pull the trigger. Oh, you got the sniper! <laughs> Number two is the squad kick. This is definitely one of those dances that I wouldn't even attempt in real life. I don't know about you, but I cannot do a split, let alone a mid-air jump. I'd probably end up in the hospital. My groin. Ow. In-game, though, that's no problem. The squat kick emote is perfect for you, sniper dodgers. The first two up and down jumps constantly move that headshot hitbox to a low level, so any sniper that begins to aim in on you is going to be forced to look down. But just as most players are about to shoot on the third jump, your character is raised up to the point that your hitbox is on a completely different level above from the original spot you were in, making the sniper's bullet pass straight under the mid-air splits that you're performing. It's not a dance that performs the dodge instantly, and you'll have to wait for a couple seconds, which does expect expose you to quick scopers, but against most players, the beginning part can really bait your enemy into taking the shot. Unfortunately though, if you did miss out on this emote or simply weren't playing at the time, there's not a great chance you'll see this in the item shop either. We've seen it at least 10 times since April 28th, but hasn't been seen again since October 18th, and we've had so many dances and emotes in the past year and four months. All appearing multiple times in the item shop, it was only a select few that people knew were really rare. Now as 2019 progresses, we should start to see even more become rare and collectible, even though last year they were something we all saw all the time. They, they will have to come off uh, eventually, so... Why are they shooting at me? Just don't get oh, oh my god, Aaron! I just jumped through it! I jumped through it! Jumped through it. And as for the honorable mentions, we've got the dab. We couldn't have a list like this without giving a special mention to the OG dab emote. The dab stormed through the internet and Fortnite had to get in on the action too. They even added a second one with music called the infinite dab. It's not the best dodging emote in the world, but you can't resist the temptation to pull out a dab and style on your enemy if you do happen to have it. Performing either of these two will push your head to one side, easily causing an opponent to miss, although it doesn't really move the body at all, so that's why you're still a pretty easy target. But this is the type of move you don't want to be standing still doing for too long, just a quick dab mid-battle to dodge a headshot, and then back into the action, and then maybe the infinite dab after, just to rub it in. The infinity dab hasn't been seen in the shop since early October, and the standard dab hasn't been since July. I think the only emote or dance on our list from today that you actually have a chance of getting is the squat kick. Nearly all the others are either OG members only, stopped appearing in the shop, or are battle pass exclusives. And in at number one, we've got the worm. The Worm is by far one of the most OG dances out there in both Fortnite and in real life. For some reason, even though it looks insanely stupid, we can't help but appreciate when someone can pull off the Worm smoothly. This dance, though, you won't ever find in the item shop, and this was exclusive to the Season 2 Battle Pass holders and was unlocked at Tier 28. When performing the Worm, your entire hitbox area is reduced to around knee height, and your head is in constant movement, making it one of the best emotes for dodging bullets. It's particularly good for vehicles and ice, and on the back of golf carts or on a plane, as we mentioned, performing a dance or emote can actually decrease your chances of getting shot. But do the worm on the golf buggy and you're essentially unhittable from the front angle because the seats cover you. With the new ice lake in season seven, ice has now become a lot more useful than before with the chiller traps. You can slide along the ice emoting or dancing while moving, which we've never been able to do before. Now, when you're hunting down an enemy on the remnants of Greasy Grove, you can perform the worm to avoid gunfire while you close that gap until you're the one ready to shoot. Yeah, yeah, try me, dude. Try me, dude. Life hack. I really wonder, is that kid streaming? 
I really wonder. But that has been our list of the top five OP Fortnite emotes that give you an advantage. Click that like button if you guys have enjoyed this video. Let's see if we can smash 30,000 likes. 30,000. I want to see 30,000 on this video. Subscribe to the channel immediately because you don't want to miss out on some top five gaming videos, do you? Do you? Oh, you do. Oh, I see how it is. Well, fine. I, I was going to invite you over to my sleepover and you're not invited anymore. All right, you're not invited. I was gonna have pizza and Capri Sun. All right, we're gonna play apples to apples, not cards against humanity. My mom doesn't like when we play that one. <laughs> I, hope you, I hope you guys have a great day. Keep it here on Top Five Gaming.